Hi everyone, Lulu here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make salmon with some really delicious bell pepper and sweet onion relish. So let's uh, let's get cracking. All right, so I have about a pound and a half of salmon here. You should be able to get this from your grocery store or butcher. And this is just Atlantic salmon. I don't know if you can see this. Looks like this on the inside. There's a lovely skin. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. Um, you don't have to wash it, but it's always better, I think, if you do. Okay, I put my salmon on a uh, foil baking tray, and I'm gonna go ahead and salt it directly because salt makes everything taste better. And then I'm gonna go ahead and chop about half of a bell pepper, finely, finely diced because this is gonna go on top and it's going to marinate uh, with the flavors as it cooks. We're gonna bake the salmon today. Um, so if you're worried about anything fancy on the stove, don't worry about it. Okay, so what I mean by finely diced is typically, in my book, known as the rough chop. No worries. All right, it's onion time. For those of you tear jerkers out there, wear a mask. Suck it up. Okay, we've gone ahead now and uh, I have the bell pepper and I'm gonna mix it up with the onion. This is gonna become our relish for the salmon. And what I'm gonna do next is uh, mix in some olive oil and some fresh lemon juice. I would say about you know a good size tablespoon. This is actually a teaspoon, so just eyeball it. If you need some more, add some more. If you think you need less, add less. Uh, but what really makes this come to life is some fresh lemon juice. So if you can get a good fresh lemon, and then I always take a spoon or something else and pulverize the inside of it. Really, you get the good pulp and the juice. It really helps the dish. Okay, so at least a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Mix, mix, mix. A little bit more of our friend NACL salt. A little bit in there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna add the pepper and then a few more stirs. Get it nice and mixed. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put it right on top of the salmon. I usually find that <laughs> you have to get your hands dirty with this one. But this is just gonna add so much texture and flavor to the salmon and really help it taste fresh. Uh, but this helps zhuzh it up quite a bit. So next we're gonna put it in an oven for about 30 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, this is at 400 degrees in the oven for about 30 minutes. This is just reading 165 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven. Oh, how beautiful is this salmon? This salmon is delicious. For more recipes, please log on to lulusjubilee.com. Again, that's lulusjubilee.com, where life is best celebrated.